Hello, I'm Jamie Good and I'm visiting Trapiche's Winery in Maipu, Mendoza. This Florentine-style building was built in 1912 and when Trapiche purchased it in 2006, it had been abandoned. Inside, they preserved some of the old winemaking technology including presses and conveyors powered by a system of pulleys. There are old concrete tanks of varying sizes that are still used today. In the, in, the, in the soil and all the north part this is in this way Sorry, this is in this way so we, we have the west in that in that, in that direction and the, uh, in the east in that direction so all this north part of the property you have more gravel uh, in the in the soil and that was at the beginning the first information in order to uh, decide which variety to put in different different uh, part of the vineyard. So here we put uh, the reds also in this in this in this part. Yes these two blocks are is Malbec but then we we decide to plant here all the Pinot Noir because we have more uniform soil for Pinot Noir and and also uh, we have a less stressful condition for Pinot Noir. So you can plant a vineyard regarding uh, row orientation, regarding the soil interception, or regarding your soil types. So if you if you cross different soil types with the row, it's going it's going if, let me if this is the property. Oh, sorry for the draw. So this is the west. We have a kind of strip of soil coming in this way. So if I planted north, north, south, of most of the vineyard in Uco Valley, I was going to cross different soil types in the same row. Not from specifically from these blocks. This one. Try to well irrigate Chardonnay in order to get more uh, aroma Here you can see what I was explaining about this different strip of soil that we have in the property. Here's a kind of small rolling rolling hills uh, moving in this in this way. So this upper part you have more gravel, the lower part you have more sandy soils. So that's why we, we planted in this 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 way. densities and the color of the leaves is very very important for Malbec when you, you start seeing this yellow color uh, like a lighter green uh, are places usually with uh, uh, a lot of quality potential as uh, as well as the as this reddish color of the petiole you know this is like a, a, a good explanation of uh, phenotypic expression of you know high quality terroir for, for Malbec, you know, uh, lighter color, this reddish pe uh, peduncle, and then close to harvest, you can see, you know, always, you, you can see this reddish color in the rackies. Uh, this at harvest time is really, really red, the, the rackies. And, and we saw that the phenotypic expression of, was not the same. So here, that area, and this area is another of the special spot that uh, we, we like a lot. Yeah, 
every day with the people, you know. And, uh, in the, the first spot where we stopped, that was the meeting point we have. A fast asado every day just to, <laughs> to keep working. Uh, Uh, you can see here, Jamie, that uh, 